Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at a new cigar from Nat Sherman. How about that? Nat Sherman is might be new to a lot of you. It's, uh, I'll, I'll call it new to me. Now, this cigar is the Timeless TAA Exclusive 2020 Limited Edition. Very limited now whoever came up with this color scheme for the bands is beyond me because you can hardly make any of that out actually it says uh, uh taa 2020 here on this band and I, do, I, I i bet you can't really tell even in these lights under even the close-up picture don't know why they did that but they did it does catch your eye because it's pretty much all black with a little gray that says timeless now this is a Nicaraguan Puro made by the Placencia folks. They're made in the Placencia factory. Comes in tens of count mesos. Priced at $12 each or $120 per mezo. A 6x50 Toro, only one size, 6x50. Oh, boom, there's the density. Now we've already covered most of the information on the cigar. Uh, Nicaraguan wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler made in the Placencia factory, a six by 50 Toro. Let's get to the review. All right, here we've got one of those flattish caps. Who doesn't love that sound? Oh, it just mm, sounds good. Oh, by the way, the draw is very good. Very good. It's a sweet, cold draw. Has a lot of sweet aspects to it. Always a good foreshadow. Your first flavor is already dry cedar with some citrus influence. Quite a bit of brown sugar, quite a bit of cinnamon, quite a bit of a very earthy, dry nutmeg, light leather, and a very light black coffee base. Black pepper at about seven and a half. The uh, flavors are very nice. Very sweet, a lot of earthy, scratchy-like uh, flavors, the nutmeg, the uh, light leather. It's very earthy and very scratchy. Is that a good term for you? you, you on your palate, it just, it just feels nice. So that's how you start. Very nice start indeed. Let's see what we have by the first third. First third. And the cigar is pretty much like it was. It's a little different. There is a lot more leather. There is more scratchy, earthy nutmeg. The sweeter notes have dipped just a little. And of course, the black coffee base. But the cigar is very intriguing. These earthy, scratchy flavors, as I call it, and you'll know what I mean when you have one. It's just sort of, it's real rough, like almost like the pepper is accentuating that effect uh, on your palate. The finish is a nutmeg with a little influence of cedar. Nice lingering black pepper. Mmm. I would call it medium to full body. But the cigar is very intriguing. It's very appealing. 
I'm starting the first third off at 94. It's very interesting, and I like it. I like that earthiness in this cigar, but the sweeter notes counteract it enough. So, um, nice first third. Nice start, nice first third. Let's see what the second third brings. End of the second third. And have to remove this band. Can you make any more out of it? All right. Cigar has actually improved just a tick. Always a good thing. There's a little toasted caramel in the mix. The sweet notes have ticked up just a little, and you still have all those other flavors, and it seems like they haven't really dipped any. But uh, cigar is full body, and the finish is unchanged. Unchanged. But this is a very intriguing cigar. It's very rough with all the earthy nutmeg and the leather and the black coffee is a darker note the pepper accentuates the roughness scratchiness i like that term it is it, it you'll feel it on your palate it's scratchy but it's not a bad thing but a cigar is just calling me it's very nice 95 for the second third i like it Very nice. So, final third, what's it going to bring? Is it going to kill it or make it something good as it is now? We'll find out. Well, we're down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Had a little reverting back to the way it was more or less in the beginning. The sweetness dipped back pretty much like it was, was and uh, the uh, earthiness and everything was still in abundance. Scratchiness. <laughs> a lot of nutmeg, a lot of leather a lot of uh, uh earthiness black coffee full body finishes by and large unchanged it really didn't change much more lingering black pepper now on the finish the finished flavors i should have said didn't change but this is a good cigar and uh impressive uh i would drop it back to 94 but uh not enough to hurt it. Your overall score is 94.33. Pretty darn good. Placencia did a really good job for Nat Sherman with this cigar. Impressive. So there you have it. The Nat Sherman Timeless TAA 2020 Limited Edition. 94.33.